It just wouldn't be a trip to one of Florida's oldest attractions without checking out the Gator Jumperoo. Back at the start of the coronavirus pandemic, Gatorland, like the rest of the state's tourism industry, was shut down. The head of the park applied for Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP, funding from the Small Business Administration to keep all 190 employees on the payroll, even though the gates were closed. We've just been scraping along, you know. He's applying again this week because business continues to struggle. We don't expect tourism to really turn around till maybe the summer. Uh, we're hoping for a good spring break, but really expecting something by summer. And uh, we just need to be cautious at this point. We're, we're not out of this. And so we're, we're going to apply for it and hopefully we get some help. A lot of local tourism businesses like Gatorland are thanking Florida residents for their staycations during a really tough tourism year with the coronavirus pandemic. For example, Gatorland is offering a big discount, two thirds off the regular admission price in January. That's what drew Michael Jarvis to come and spend the day with his daughter, Zaya. I think it's awesome. It's a great way to get people in the door, especially in this time that we're in. And uh, I love Gatorland, so it's something awesome. The new round of PPP will benefit most small businesses. Bigger tax breaks, more loan flexibility and forgiveness. But restaurants in particular will benefit. Owners can apply for larger loans than in previous relief packages. That could really help the restaurants on International Drive that feed off the attraction businesses, as well as those in popular downtown areas like Park Avenue in Winter Park. In Orange County, Greg Fox, Washington News.